Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Dong Zhuo campaign. Uh, this is episode 2. We pick it up from turn 7 in the autumn season of the year 191. So, last episode, uh, we just settled into things out here in the west. Our main feature right now is that Yuan Shu has foolishly sent two armies to attack our Luoyang trade port. Uh, we're responding with an ambush. Uh, we can do a little bit more here actually. Uh, might summon a few more generals, including Guo Jia, who would have the Burin trait, which will reduce their uh, ammo on their range units a little bit, which will make this fight a lot easier for us. Um, we have a level up. This is our Simon character, uh, Xu Rong over here. He is helping us grow food, and we can have him learn Reach, which will be very useful. And let's see, we have a few more buildings. Let's take care of all of that. Uh, we also have Zhou Tai in our pool, which we would recruit. Uh, we're going to end up recruiting a lot of generals in this run. Uh, just going to try to field a lot of people. Uh, he's not terrible, but he's not really a standout either. But we'll take him. And let's get the buildings done. We have a few places. Chang'an mainly. Uh, I believe we want to continue to upgrade the M building a little bit. We are going to need some reforms uh, very soon to get these to higher level. Uh, we're waiting on discounts from the reform tree to also get the mine upgrades cheaper as well. Um, everywhere else, we're pretty much locked up because we don't have the necessary reform to move forward with any of these buildings. Uh, this one simply because I believe you need to have yeah, entrepreneurs. We settled that last episode. And let's summon some new army and wait for them to fall into that ambush. Uh, what we're going to do is summon... A few more generals, basically. Guo Jia for sure, for his burn trait. And we might let Zhou Tai come get some levels. Although, we could be a little bit worried about them killing themselves uh, in this fight. And he's kind of expensive, so we might wait. Yep, I think that's fine. Uh, Guo Jia is on the map. Let's get rid of his retinues. And that's fine. Uh, so let's see if they fall for our trap. Uh, we're going to get ourselves into a nice view. Let's continue. Uh, so Yuan Shu walked away. Uh, that's really sad. Why, why are you doing this to us? Why are you not attacking? Does our army look too big? He's also not on march, so we can't even like go chase him because then he'll just escape. Oh, this is a little annoying. Let's ambush him. Let's see, we got a few new characters. The reform tree skill position is not bad. But the traits aren't that great, so we're going to pass on him. Uh, this is okay, too. Close to reach. Okay, a spying trait. Uh Incompetence, just terrible. Okay, we'll pass on him as well. Let's see what else we can do. We can upgrade Anding here. It's become a small city now. Uh, the crisis is going to happen soon. So I want to resolve Yuan Shu early so that we can actually put armies back out here. And I think uh, it's likely that Ma Teng will betray us too. Alright, we want government support here, I guess, to continue the theme of peasantry income. Yeah, we're going to need a general here uh, just to fend off the yellow turbans. Uh, but right now, it's not happening. He's ambushing. Or he's trying to ambush, I guess. We just discovered him. Let's give him another chance. Maybe he'll turn around now that we have a Guo Jia ambush mode. Uh, maybe we need to switch things around, actually. Maybe we need to have the main army that's looking too strong in ambush mode. And have Guo Jia visible. So that they feel like it's weak. Maybe that's the way we should do it. Like this. Let's hope they fall for this. Alright, that's good. Let's continue. Alright, Yuan Shao declared war on Go. Okay. So did Zhang Yan. Poor guy. Alright, charismatic versus solitary. Oh, we definitely want charismatic, I think. At least this skill has no uh, bad elements. The minus two satisfaction to army is kind of bad. 
So let's go charismatic. And plus we want to be good with Liu Fun because Liu Fun's eventually going to be our prime minister. Uh, he left. He ran away. Uh, they claimed uh, Luoyang as their territory and he just ran away. So I guess this show is over. We can pull back most of our army, I guess. Uh, he leveled up because he's also administrator, so he gets experience every turn. Uh, we should pick up... Hmm. Does he have any other administrative traits? I guess abundance would be one. Plus five food. Although reach is really nice. But most likely this army is going to be on defense for a while. So I think we'll go with the two administrative traits here. Uh, so this show's over. Let's start planning for... I mean, we really should plan for Ma Teng. He's our number one target from the beginning. We want to launch an assault from here into Wudu. We want the Silk Trader. We want the Horse Pasture. And Zhengjiang, I think, is going to come over too. So things are going to heat up behind. And Yuan Shu is not making up his mind. It would be nice if we crushed him and then got a peace treaty afterward. But that's not the case, so can't force it. I think the best thing to do is just pull them back. It's also slowing uh, our process of getting Dong Zhuo out on the field because we want, want the general to die. We want him to die. Maybe we can recall him. Give them an actual strategist and just have them ambushed here, holding them off for a while. If they come back, they can do it by themselves. We can give them like a small army real quick. Yeah, let's do that. Let's recruit a strategist that get along with them. We have so many. All right, Lufan, you're up. So we don't need archers on you anymore. Although I think four of these are enough. Like spear guards are great, but I don't think we need them. Uh, let's have two as well. Just be safe. We'll go... Alright, we're gonna... Get two tribuches. No, no, no. We want to swap a tribuchet. And then crossbow. Assuming you don't have... Yep, you don't have fire arrow. So this was fine. Give you this. For survivability. And I don't think I need to give you a retinue because you're going to die. That's your job. We don't need to have you carry this anymore. We recruited everyone. Li Bu can have it back. Uh, let's see. The other general we recalled also has an item. Jia Xu is getting angry at us. Lack of purpose. That's not that bad. He'll be at 21. We'll give it to him. He's going to be mad at us very soon. Because he's going to lose all his uh, recently hired buffs. And he's level 4. Alright, where should we go in terms of our tree? Um, I still think we should go for this Onyx Dragon Rush. Because all the silk and spice are also on this tree. Uh, so we should probably get this. Consider we're upgrading uh, private workshop buildings. This also would work. Uh, we can also upgrade our port. And get another trade route, except for we can't get any trade routes right now. They're just too expensive. Hmm. Maybe we can try it. Plus 10% commerce. Yeah, the port upgrade is helpful. Because it'll make the quality of the retinue here better. Let's see, what else can we do? We can... Try to secure a trade route. I don't think we can, though. High Empire. 2.1. Not terrible. 
Except for they ask for so much. Because they make so much a turn. Like, money to them doesn't mean anything. The best thing to do with them is give them an uh, ancillary item, but we don't have anything to spare. What about... We're not going to fight them in for a while. 4.8. Wow. Yeah, that's not happening. Do they want to be our vassal? Oh, no, they don't. Okay. Never mind. When we get maybe another horse that's low quality, we'll trade it with the uh, High Empire for a um, trade deal. But now I think we're good, as is. Uh, we're going to wait for these to cool down. Some of them over here. I think we have a threat coming. Let's continue. And there goes another trade deal. Han Sui has betrayed us and declared war on us. Uh, as expected, that's fine. We pulled our armies back. All right, Ma Teng is doing really well. He destroyed Gongdu. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So they're going to be free to attack us now. Yeah, I don't think he will actually go towards Ba. Hmm. So Yuan Shu is also keeping himself busy with He Yi, so maybe we'll be fine on our uh, eastern front. Gao Gan has died after being attacked by so many factions. Uh, why did they have our flag? This is a mistake. Well, they're destroyed, but why does she have our flag? Uh, we got declare war. Um, Ma Chao declares. Uh, Zhang Chao declare war on Kong Zhou. That's all fine. Let's see. New characters. Well, you already used our flag. Maybe we'll recruit you. Zhang Yan wiped you out. You're okay. She's decent enough that we could recruit her. She's also young. And she can become a pretty decent administrator with pacifist. But we don't have that many slots. That's the problem. Yeah, we'll pass. Wait, Liu Chong. I think he's the Liu Chong that we're going to get in Mandate of Heavens. Except for here, he's just a plain old commander who's a scout without any boost. The age seems right, 50 years old, around 192. Yeah, I think this is uh, our Prince of Chen. We found him. Uh, he's handsome, he's direct, and he's friendly. And he's useless in this game right now. In the, <laughs> We need him to be stronger. Uh, he worked for Yuan Shu for a while. Poor guy. Poor guy. At least he didn't kill you this time. You left him before he killed you. Uh, we're not going to recruit him just because he's nothing special right now. Oh, nice. We were just praising how good this book was. So, Dong Zhuo, you like to read? Let's see if this actually would change his authority. He's plus eight satisfaction, still plus eight. So most likely it's better to put her on her because she's plus three. And if we give her plus six points, she's plus five. So we get actually two uh, satisfaction point out of that. So that's actually a big boost. And she will still activate the income from the um, faction wide as well as take benefits from the satisfaction points because she's not the leader. Uh, Hand of the King, we need provincial auditor. Uh, for minus 10% corruption. Super good. Zhang now leveled up as administrator. Good job. Uh, we might want to make him pick up night battle. Patience is also good if we want to start capturing generals. Uh, plus 5% melee evasion for the not so important. Charge negate is very important. So is this buff. This one we can actually never get. I don't think the melee evasion is going to matter. This one we don't ever have to get. This one we don't ever have to get. Yeah, I like the top part better. Night battle is pretty key. Let's start with this one. Alright. So, Zhengjiang might cross the river. But we know right away that Han Sui is actually declare war on us so this is our chance to grab that silk trader 
Now, Unding is a terrible place to raise the army because we have minus one mustering turn because he is the administrator, but we just have to swallow that because that's just the closest place we can recruit units to put them out into the battlefield. Um, he might attack this, actually. So we might recruit a unit here, maybe? Walk down this way? This just seems really far. Hmm. This makes the most sense, to be honest. So let's recruit here. Liu Zhang Liao. Ooh, Guo Jia or him. We could fire him, actually. We could just run Guo Jia in this army. We don't really need him. Alright, let's do that, actually. He's level 4. He's going to be hard to keep, you know, happy. He has all the good skills, but his traits aren't that great uh, for, you know, for the long run in terms of cutting level. And Guo Jia, obviously, is amazing. And you already have the most key skill uh, unlocked in the resourcefulness. So we're going to actually get rid of his item and then fire him. We're going to give that over to Guo Jia just so we can recruit units a little cheaper. There we go. And away you go. It was nice having you. Yeah. It's funny we have him. Alright, this army... I don't think we need to recruit one right away because I, I think I want to see them attack this first before we recruit. We're not going to walk out this way unless we know where their army is because if they go this way, we have to walk up this way. The road's really weird. Or we can just go where there's no road because the road conditions in the west are just terrible. All right, we're still going to focus our money on our economy for now. Hmm. Rebellion's going to trigger soon. Actually, let's have the army sit outside of the city. Whoa, there's no bridge? Are they serious? Crossing the river takes a turn? Any chance we can just pop on this side? Oh, no, 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 this is terrible. Oh, that's, that's the bridge. Okay. I was like, that's really hard then if there's no bridge. Okay, we want to be outside just because we don't want to influence the public order. I would like this to go to negative 100 so we can fight uh, and get some uh, intimidation back. Uh, if we're inside, we actually make it minus 9. Not a big difference, but still. That's it. I think we have everything. Let's continue. All right. Yuan Shao is fighting Zhang Yan. They were fighting Golgun together. The second Golgun dies, they fight each other. That's great. Uh, Ma Teng declare war. Oh, he is going south. Okay, that's good. All right. Zhang Yan's fighting Wang Quan. All right. Diao Chan has appeared. So the minister Wang Yun invites you for tea at his home. While there, you are charmed by one of his servant girls, asking her name. Wang Yun says, the beautiful woman is called Diao Chan, and it will, be, uh, it will honor him if you wish to add her to your household. Uh, we're definitely going to do this. And I like how they have this option. Uh, but we're going to recruit Diao Chan. And she joins our faction. One more strategist to the... And then she has a level. Hmm. She's clumsy. Why is she clumsy? Okay. Doesn't really stand out. She is getting her own portrait as well. Very, very beautiful model. Uh, they showed it on the live stream. Uh, not the character, but they had the uh, art artwork on the live stream. What should she get? I don't think she'll ever be in an army, to be honest. I can't imagine these stats being useful. She will just be a good wife and give kids to uh, Lü Bu. Wow, important events have led us to increasingly appreciate one another. That's, that's hilarious. Okay. Let's give her 
We don't need these, honestly. Might as well go for these. Yeah, might as well. Just in case if we need her on the field. Not likely, but just in case. Uh, so I got a glimpse of Huntsway's army. They're in the water over here. If they go for our animal tamer, then just tough luck. We can't help it. Uh, but that also means they left their cities unprotected. So, we're going to run all the way. So this takes, what, three turns? Two turns to reach here. And then one turn to reach here once we're on the road, I think. Hmm. Should we march? That's the question. It's the same result. We'll be recruiting here and launching the attack. Make sure it's three turns. Yep, yeah, it's three turns. Okay, so it's the same thing. We'll stay away from March for now. We're going to path this way and the turn at the edge of our border and start recruiting our units then. Uh, surprisingly, Maton is staying friendly with us. Uh, let's see. Oh, the High Empire actually loaded up on their trade agreements so he's our only option now if we really want to trade i believe one food is 1.5 for him and maybe we can pay him for the rest maybe flat cash now that we have so much cash maybe we can just do this the 1.5 is not going to be that expensive, considering that it should jump around 3. Yeah, 1,000 gold hmm. for 400 turns. So this will pay me back in about 3.5. Yeah, let's do it. We're not going to attack them for a long time, even though we want their spice. Alright, hi Empire, what did you do? Who are you trading with? Wow. Wait, we, he has a trade slot. Oh, we are no longer... We are... Mm, where's their capital now? They got taken out. Let's see. Where is their capital now? It's here. We border it. Why can't we get a trade deal? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Look at the map. Zhengjiang is diving straight for the capital. That's brave. Alright. We're going to have to shift our ambush back soon. We can't attack her here. The rivers are very protective. So we don't have to worry about it now. This army just have to get busy. That's fine. We can defend this. Um, Toolmaker. No, I think we should upgrade the city actually. Get another slot. Sure. All right, let's continue. I think we're we're fine. All right, Gong Sun and Han Fu are going at it. That's their event trigger. Liu Dan and Zhang Yang. I don't see where the boat went, but we're gonna go here. Recruit an army. Now, what type of army should we get? We definitely want trebuchets. Crossbow. Mm, he could actually get archers. Composure and precision. Jonah might be better leading this army, to be honest. For the precision buff. Hmm... Extra morale, extra morale. Actually, we'll take the extra morale. And we'll give Drownell some cheap units for now. And two T militias over here. We'll run two of these, and I think we're good. How many turns, though? 
This might take a while. Three turns? That's fine. Zhong Jiang's running to our capital with this army. Uh, they will siege it, but they can't destroy it. So what we're going to do is slip our forces behind. Mm, we probably want to end in ambush, to be honest. So here, 25%, trying to edge it. 27 might be the closest we can get. 24, so we might just stop here. I don't know if we can run back. Uh, we can always march back. It's fine. We don't want her to turn around and fight us, so we'll ambush. We'll let her come siege. It's fine. We have a level up. Li Ru. Uh, he's been doing assignments. 20 he's been helping out. Definitely get this. Let's see. People are getting mad at us for not doing anything. And for leveling up. Hmm. We really need a concubine or a philosopher. This is also going to trigger a rebellion when our army is not here. So that's also another problem. We might... We can always loop them around the city. No, I, we're not going to rush anything. I'm more interested about the, taking this. I think we're good. Let's continue. Guess our first fight will be against Zheng Jiang. Ah, oh, new kid. A son is born. A real son. What would Lu Bu feel about him? So, the AI just doesn't want to fight us. She moved up. That's so weird. Uh, we're going to track her a little bit. Because we can't reach the capital as of now. And we also don't want to be too far away from the trade port. This This is fine. Alright. Our air leveled up. Hmm. Extra assignment probably be, be best. We don't have another um, sentinel to boost um, building speed. Replenishment though. Hmm. This might be good. We should put it in Unding to help them replenish faster. That way the army be, may be ready in next turn. Oh, but then they won't be working until a turn later. That's a shame. Mm, Dale Tran could do something. Plus 10 satisfaction faction wide. Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you stay on that duty in our capital? Make our whole faction happy. But then she'll level up and become unhappy herself. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. All right, so we're still tracking this army. Hopefully, they'll fight us soon. Uh, Undine is still going to revolt, and that's fine. We're going to be able to loop them around the city. And we might put Jashu here just so that he can lead that loop around the city. Yeah, we could recruit her to use as assignment character. She's not terrible, to be honest. Yeah, let's let's pick her up. Just stash her for now. Let's see what else. Unding is fine. Dash, you can lead the run around. Would maybe lead you it. Hmm. He can do it, I think, by himself. <laughs> Jashu can just sit around. I don't think. I don't know. I'm worried Jashu might actually get killed by them. Yeah, we'll give him something to do. He's just sitting there doing nothing right now. Don't need units. There's a garrison. They also don't get along. Wow. Tough life, tough life. Alright. We're gonna get rid of your horse. Wait, we can't we can't unequip. It's stuck on him. I want Guo Jia to have it. We can't. 
You, we can't. Ugh, we can't. Okay, fine. All right, let's just continue. We're gonna just fight this fight. All right, proxy war between Wang Long and Yuan Shu. Cao Cao's at work again. Uh, melt the Jinren. An ambitious ruler must have a fitting castle from which to wage their righteous campaign, but it would take several lifetime to amass the fund needed. The twelve bronze colossies erected by the first emperor are very valuable and will surely cover the cost. Um, melt down all of them. Pick up five thousand gold. We don't really need gold. We are rich. Melt down nine of them. Or erect our own. Ooh. Yeah, let's flaunt our wealth. Let's not melt them down. Let's build more and uh, make people love us. Let's see who else is in the pool. Ah, Jian Yong is in the pool. Interesting. Liu Bei abandoned you. You don't hate him. Mm, are you a spy? Well, we're not going to recruit to find out. Liu Bao abandoned you? You're willing to spy, so he definitely just abandoned you. We have too many strategists, sorry. Sun Jian's character. Now, sometimes if Sun Jian dumps um, a female character, they usually carry the Imperial Seal with them. Now that doesn't happen here. All right, the AI just keep running. They're running over here, which is a headache because we need to actually stay around here to defend. As you can see, we're getting company. So what we need to do is actually march all the way back because they're being super annoying. All right, Zhang Jiang is going to have to be someone else's problem. Now, it'd be amazing if the AIs are working together to uh, cease all my army around, but I highly doubt that. So we're going to grab this one now. We don't need another trick route. And this will enable us to build something here finally. We want to build a private workshop. All right, this army. Well, I mean, the Silk Trader is going to be tough to defend. I hope they're going for this, to be honest. We're one turn away. Oh my god, crossing the river takes a turn? Right. So this is a two turn job. Let's cross. We're strong enough. Now over here, that's a different problem. Mm. What should we do here in the city? Well, rebellion next turn. Zhou Tai is available. Domin is available. I don't really want a third army right now. Our economy can't really support it. They are just going to have to fend this off somehow. Um, I mean, their job was to take care of the rebellion, not to deal with this. Pop them out. Hide them for now. It's the best thing I can do for them. Alright, let's go. Let's see where this army moves. Could also come down and attack our Silk Trader. That would be tragic as well. Let's continue. Yep, she went for the Silk Trader. Alright, we're going to try to beat this back despite the fact we don't have any generals or spear units to fend off their generals and cavalry. Uh, let's give it a shot. All right, we would really like to not lose the Silk Trader, uh, but it's almost impossible to run people around this, especially the fact that they have generals and cavalry and we don't have any of that. So we just probably have to fight within the compound and try to choke them up at the gates. Um, 
They don't have that many archer units. I mean, obviously the crossbowmen outrange us, which would suck. But um, most of their force is actually infantry. Uh, good infantry. Spear guards uh, over here. And then the saber is going to be hard to deal with as well. Uh, we want to fight pretty much at the gate. Uh, we do have shield units, so we could tank up some of the range damage. We want to give the crossbowmen something to hit. That's what we want. Now, we don't have charge negate, so we're going to get smashed when the cavalry comes. But we do have a lot of archers, like I said. So, let's try to make the most of them. Now this group probably uh we probably want to pull back the captain units a little bit just because they provide morale bonuses. We don't want them to die right away. We might put the regular archers up more ahead. They're just here to tank. All right, we need to crowd the door so no one can get through. Two on each side. I think this is fine. We'll try our best. Uh, if we lose this, it's fine. We'll also try to retake it. Let's continue. Come at us. They're all shifting towards this door, so we might be able to pull them out over here just to see if they're attracted by them enough to come closer. We also probably want to shift people over. Any chance we can pull someone over, it'd be great. If we can split up that force. The rain will also help in case they have fire arrows. They could, because she's a strategist level 3. Alright, go to town. We can also help flank later, if they're over here. It'd be best if they come chase us, but if they don't, we can always flank the front door. Alright, let's try to kill these crossbowmen. Who are they hitting? They're hitting these guys. Alright, let's straighten them up so they face them directly from the front. We want to kill these guys, actually. And generals. Uh, they're not coming. Let's get closer. Guys, I know it's scary, but hold the door. Hold the door. We have archers. Believe in them. Uh, that tree. Come on, someone. There's an army right here. Oh, we got we got one cavalry coming. Oh, we're gonna get smashed, but that's fine. We pulled someone away from the main army. We're gonna just stand here. Or we'll brace for it. Be nice if we scattered. Actually, charge. Yep, we got smashed, but it's fine. Oh, we're gonna get smashed by another cavalry. Good, they're not charging the door. All right. The general's coming over too. Perfect. We might pull this out. They have a general here, which is tough, but we can have them come here now. We don't need to tank the, the damage. All right, this guy's getting routed. It's buying us time, as much time as we can. They're walking sideways too, so we're getting some time to shot, shoot at them. Yeah, they got wiped. No surprise, so it's fine. They might actually rally back, which would be great. But right now, we're just going to try to do as much damage as we can. Yeah, no one's on scrimmage mode. They actually rally back already. Uh, we're going to have them come over here, guard the door. They might rally back too. We took out both cavalry, so that's a win. Uh, we just got to clog this door up as much as possible. She's chasing us. Okay, that way, then we're not going back in. We're going to loop her. 
Alright, let's try to get some damage on her. Strategist is inside, that's fine. They usually just slip through. No point to ch waste time chasing her. Alright, they're done. We'll just come guard the gate so we don't lose the gate. Alright, come guard the gate pretty much right here. You can guard the center. You can pile over here. They're buying so much time. We might win this. Stop shooting at routed troops. Alright, she's just wandering around doing nothing. We don't need to mind her. Clamp up the door is basically all we need to do. Alright, she took them out. She's trying to go back. Once we kill him, it'll be a lot easier. I think we got this. Alright, let's not waste some arrows. Go rally them. He has encourage. I don't think she's strong enough to go through this whole thing. Where's the strategist? Sorry, she's just walking around. That's fine. Uh, let's all pile back. Doesn't seem like they're doing much to us. Right, we're out of ammo. We're just going to pile all our troops here. Alright, nice. Let's kill him. Don't let him run. Can we kill him? I don't want him to rally back, basically. Alright, here she comes. This is going to hurt for a little bit. Alright, if he, if he stays like this and goes out, the towers will kill him. Oh no, we're getting chain routed by her. Come on, we just need to get her low. We can do it. She's, I mean, I'm slightly worried if she takes this, then we're kind of screwed. But I don't think she's that smart. Alright, we killed a general. That should help with morale. Oh, she's enraged. Oh, crap. She actually healed. Alright, we need you guys back into action. That was unexpected. She got a free heal off that. Come on, route the units then. If we can't kill her fast enough, we gotta route the units. There we go. You're by yourself. Come on. 9.9. 9. We did a hunt. We did so little damage to her. Oh my gosh, she's just killing us. Too strong, too strong. She's not gonna route. She knows she's winning. <laughs> Wow, this is brutal. If we lose to her... Come on. Halfway there. Come back. Come back. We're winning. Trust. No, no, no. You stay away. You stay away. Alright, alright. Keep her busy, keep her busy. But we don't want to kill her either. She's their friends. They will get a free heal. Okay. She's not coming. Don't charge us. Just don't charge us. 
We got this. We got this. Three. Oh my god. No, our captain routed. That's not good. Come on. So close. If she didn't get that heal, we would have won for sure. Captain, Captain, rally back. Yeah, Captain, rally back. She would route once she dies. Even though she'll get mad. Right. Mm. This might be still a tough fight here. But we still want to kill Zhang Jiang. Let's come on. 1.5. 900. Don't give up. Don't give up. We're all wavering. We, we legit four, there we go all right all right she's mad but don't 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 kill us don't kill us let her charge out all right we're gonna guard inside inside let let the tower do some work oh she had lower armor and she didn't use it oh my god we routed oh it's not still okay i can live with this result Alrighty. um we lost intimidation uh we Lost the fight. This is pretty bad result, but we did a lot of damage. It was a fun fight. We can get it all back. All right, we lost the Silk Trader. Shameful defeat. Uh, our spy returned. They didn't recruit him, so we're gonna send him to another person. Oh, actually, he's returning. He got a lot of cover undercover here. He actually didn't get any cover. He has a passive for that. Anyways, I guess you can't get cover until you actually get into the faction. Um, hmm. Things aren't going so well, huh? Well, we can change that by grabbing a territory. He sailed across the river. Okay, that buys us some time. We can get rid of his silk trader. And maybe his city over here. But first, we need somewhere so we can replenish. All right, we're not going to give them time to replenish. We should just go crush them. With no help from the city. Yeah, we can win this. I think. The strategist is not going to help. We might put another general in just to guarantee that win. Like Zhou Tai. Zhang Jiang needs a turn, and then she's scary. Hmm. This is the best turn to attack. Because the garrison's weak, but we can't. And Yuan Shu has moved his army back again. But he's personally walking this way. We're getting stretched pretty thin, to be honest. We're going to wait for him here. Alright, if we can pull this off, that would help our case here. I honestly don't know what to do about this army. It's not threatening enough, but we need it back. That's the difference here. Alright, let's recruit another guy. Domain's cheaper. But Zhou Tai is more useful. Mm. Let's put Zhou Tai out here. And then we can destroy this army quickly. Yeah, we'll just delegate this. No need to actually fight it. Oh, both cavalry died. That's fine. 
Intimidation. And auxiliary items. And we captured her. I mean, <laughs> we can't employ her. Uh, we'll just release for the money. Uh, we'll get ransom. Alright, she's still on the field. So we can fight her again for more intimidation points. Alright, we'll delegate this fight again. Alright. There we go. Farm some rebellions for intimidation. Uh, we're still in second tier. We're fine. Uh, it's going to be hard to get it to third. We got a bow and a guard. Hmm. Maybe we can get a trade deal now. Except for the High Empire, I don't know. Why can't we trade with them? It's my question. Oh, we can't trade with him. Yeah, we can't. No one has an active trade route available. That's just great. So we don't need these guys here. We're going to run them back to the capital, I guess. Unless we should probably stay here and farm more because it's going to come back right away. Yeah, we're going to have to hope that Yuan Shu falls for a trap. That way we free up our army to go help here. This army is not going to threaten our capital, so we don't have to worry about that. They already did their most damage. Alright, so I think we'll end our episode here. Um, we're mainly just trying to stabilize out here in the west. Uh, Han Sui has become the first faction to declare war on us behind our back. Uh, so we're going to destroy them with Liu Bu's main army, who will probably clean up this whole area first. Uh, that way we can start focusing. Once we clear this part, basically once we destroy him, uh, we can start focusing on Ma Teng and uh, our new enemy, uh, Zheng Jiang, who has sailed all the way from her home to attack us. It was a close fight, but we didn't pull it off. Um, over here, we're just going to try to farm intimidation off uh, rebels. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, the beginning of the next episode, we'll see Yuan Shu fall to the trap. So, see you guys then. Bye!